Okay, welcome to today's uh, video everyone. So in this video we'll be seeing a, f a few examples of solving geometrical Locus problems. Okay, so let's have a look at this example. So, sketch and describe the regions in the complex plane which satisfy Part 1. The modulus of Z plus I equal to 5. Part 2. The modulus of Z less than or equal to the modulus of Z minus 2I. And part three, the argument of z is equal to pi on four. All right, so we'll have a look at these three individually. Okay, so the first one is uh, the modulus of z plus i equal to five. Okay. So, the first thing that we need to do when we have this is to put it into our standard form. So we write it with z minus a complex number. So we always want this to be a minus here. And the reason we do that is because now this part here, this part that I underlined in red, that's the center of our circle. So remember this was the standard, this is now in the standard form of a circle. And the circle has center at minus i and it has a radius of 5 units. So when you draw this on the argon diagram, this is what we get. So, the locus is the red circle here. Okay, and the center is at minus i, so we've gone down minus 1 units on the imaginary axis, and this corresponds to the complex number minus i, and the radius is 5 units. So, now we've sketched it, I guess we should describe it, since the question says to sketch and describe. So, in words, this would be the locus is a circle center at minus i and radius of 5. Okay, and that can be read directly off our standard form. So here we have our center, and here we have our radius. Okay, and of course you can do this using an algebraic approach, but as you can see, this takes much less time. We just read off the center and the radius. Now, if we wanted to give a Cartesian equation, well, that's also fairly simple as well. So our center is at minus i, which of course is also thought of as 0 minus i. So maybe I'll put here 0 minus i. And so our Cartesian equation is going to be x minus 0 squared plus y minus 1i, so y minus 1 squared, is equal to 5 squared, and of course that is simply x squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 25. Okay, so that's our Cartesian equation for this locus. Okay, let's have a look at the second question now. So this one says, the modulus of z is less than or equal to the modulus of z minus 2. Okay, so, with these types of questions, when we have a less than or equal to or a greater than or equal to, so when we have an inequality, the best thing to do is to first consider just the equality. So first we consider the modulus of z equal to the modulus of z minus 2i. Now here we have this in a standard form. So remember, we have... When we have the modulus of z, that's also like considering the modulus of z minus 0. So, from our standard form, we know that this is the perpendicular bisector of the chord joining the two complex numbers. So here, the complex number is 0 plus 0i, and here the complex number is 0 minus 2i. And because we have uh, an equals 2, we just draw that line there. So this here is the perpendicular bisector of the line which joins 
0 plus 0 i, which is this point here, to uh, 0, uh, this should be a plus, 0 plus 2i. Okay, so this is our chord here between 0 and 2, and this is the perpendicular bisector. Now this is only for the equality case. In our original question, we have the modulus of z is less than or equal to the modulus of z minus 2i. And so in this case, instead of being a curve in the Argand diagram, it is now a region in the Argand diagram. So the locus of z is all the points such that their distance from uh, the complex number 0 plus 0i is less than the distance from the complex number 0 plus 2i. And so this is, of course, all these points in this region. Okay, and we include this line here, which we have a complete line, a full line, because it's also less than or equal to. So this is the equal to case, and all these points here are the less than case. Okay, now once again, we can derive the equation of this line by using algebraic methods, but there's no need to unless the question asks. So this is perfectly sufficient uh, in an exam situation to just draw this line in and say that this is the perpendicular bisector of the chord joining these two points. Okay, let's have a look at the third uh, problem that we had. So this one said that the arg, or the argument, of z is equal to pi on 4. And again, remember, when we have just z, that's the, that's the same as having z minus the origin. So this is, again, in standard form. And this represents the ray that starts at the origin, but doesn't include the origin, and has an argument of pi over 4. So how do we represent this geometrically? Well... This is what it's going to be. We start at the origin, but don't include the origin, so we put an open circle at the origin. And we draw in a ray. Okay. So we draw in a ray that makes an angle of pi on 4 with the positive real axis. So, as, as you can see, this is the locus this represents this locus here, and any point on this line has an argument of pi on 4. And so that's why we see that this is a ray, which doesn't include the origin. Remember, we can't include the origin because if z could take 0 plus 0i, if z could take that value, then we'd have that the arg of 0 plus 0i is equal to pi on 4. But the argument of zero is undefined, and so we have to put an open circle here to exclude the origin. Okay, so those were three fairly simple locus type questions that you find in complex numbers. In future videos, we'll see a couple of harder ones, and then later on, we'll see some algebraic uh, methods to solve different types of locus questions. Okay, thanks for watching the video.